and we are here to present to you our innovation challenge project called Lose to Win. At first, this project didn't seem particularly unusual because of the fact that we do go to a health school. But it was difficult because we were asked to focus just on Durham and take a big health problem and focus it on one city. But then it hit me when I was on a bus on my way to school and I seen a man that was wearing red shirt and black pants riding on a scooter on a sidewalk because he was obese. And I was thinking, well, maybe that if I hadn't been asked to focus on Durham, I wouldn't have noticed him, but that day I did. But that's when the hard part came. Because it was real to us. Until we actually did the research. Every one out of 10 people in Durham have diabetes. We are ranked eighth in the nation of people with diabetes. And that's how we knew that solving this problem was very important. Information, personalization, and motivation. In our blog, we provide information about obesity and diabetes and different ways that you can control it. And last but not least for information, we provide a survey in our app that no, not only gives you the chance to tell us about yourself, but gives you the chance to ask any questions that you may have. For personalization in our app, we provide two different kinds of videos. One video for workouts and another video for recipes that you may use or watch as you please. And that's where the app, where the Google Plus and the chat room come in. This allows you to communicate with other people that are doing or going through the same things that you are. It allows you to motivate each other to work out and to eat healthy. And we know that this app can make a tremendous impact on Durham. People are already visiting our app and our website because there is a need out there that Lose to Win can provide. And in North Carolina. In essence, the uses of our app will become a community of fellow supporters to sustain our app itself. We are committed to changing Durham for the better. Okay. We have seen this need in Durham and we know that we can change it.